So I have my first Tamu haul. I'm gonna open this up. Let me move back a little bit and we're gonna see what's in there. This is My first, my first package from them. Uh, this is how it's taped up. You can see it's, uh, yeah, it's packaged pretty nice. Let me just cut into this. I'm gonna edit this out so it's not too loud for you. They did reach out to me, so this is a sponsored video, and they sent me a few items to try. I was a little skeptical, I'm not gonna lie, because, well, I'm, I try to be mindful about what I'm purchasing, and I also don't wanna just buy stuff that I, I don't wanna, I can't use. So I did look and I found a few things that I feel, well, first of all, their website's full of really cute things. Like I saw some hats and some t-shirts and all kinds of stuff that, you know, I, I was drawn to. I really liked some of the things that they had and it was very affordable, shockingly affordable. I wasn't really interested in Tamu until quite a few friends of mine have said to me, you've got to check out Tamu. And they were asking me, what is it? And I said, I don't know what it is. I just keep hearing all these commercials shop like a billionaire. What, what? It's an app you put on your phone. You can order things. Well, anyway, today's video is not about all of the features that they have because I'm still, I'm still new at this. I don't know a whole lot about how the app works. I'm just trying out some of the products that they sent me and it reminds me a lot of um, you know sort of dollar store shopping but they have oh, quite an array of things so anyway let me get into today's haul now they sent me some things I'm gonna be breaking down this haul into three different hauls and they're gonna be pretty short actually I have just a few items in each haul this is the way that we decided to break this down and I'm gonna be sharing my uh, part one of my Tamu haul with you so this is part one so the first item that I want to share with you is this expandable file folder now let me open it up I'm gonna probably cut this out because it'll get this kind of loud I've taken it out of the package and I, I uh, am always looking for ways to sort of organize my desk. And this looked like a good kind of product to me. I use a, a lot of these. Now I have a couple of these that I use to, like I, ha I had these for the, the kids when they were still in school. And I used it to uh, organize some of their homeworks. Now it wasn't the same one, but it was a very, it was similar to this. I've also used these to organize, if I'm working on like a project and I wanna organize, like let's say scrapbooking and you're going through uh, photographs, you can categorize the photographs uh, and you know, and then you can kind of go through and, um, and then have, you know, have your photographs all organized. And then as you do go through, if you are a scrapbooker, I'm not really much into scrapbooking, but I am into, into organizing all of the photos that we've taken over the years. And that's one way I thought I might use this because I will be able to organize all the photos into different slots. Like let's say here's uh, Ryan's school pictures and here's um, the holiday family pictures. And you know, I'll be able to organize it. And it's got these little tabs so you can uh, kind of uh, label them, you know? So I thought, you know, that would be one way that I could use this. I mean, just making sure that it doesn't have anything else on here. Now this is, I mean, the, the product itself is very durable. It's the plastic, you know, it's all plastic, but it's, I would say for a project, if you're working on a project, you know, this would be a really great thing to use. It's got uh, a couple little handles here on the side. So now I want to show you kind of one of the ways I, you know, I actually came up with um, to, to use this for myself. So I do a little bit of freelance work and I've always got my, I, this is how I work a lot of the times. I will go off to a coffee shop and meet a potential client. I don't do as much of that anymore because I've really wound down my business uh, and I'm sort of shifting gears, but I still do some of it. And so I'll go off to a coffee shop and I'll meet a client. And you know, I'm not somebody who's gonna carry a briefcase around and all of that. So um, this purse, you guys saw this on my Thrift for Less haul. Um, 
I do use this a lot when I've, I'm, especially for traveling or if I am gonna go meet somebody. And when I go meet someone, I like to take files. I Now back in the day, I used to take, you know, client agreements and handouts and all kinds of stuff. And I would organize them in a similar fashion and usually put them in a binder, uh, which works too. But my thought with this is now I could put, like now I would put all the little different files in here and to organize. And then when I do go off to meet a client, I can slip it right in here and it fits really well. Let me just get it in here. There, it fits really well, look at that. This is, I don't know why I have that there, but you can see there's still lots of room for my sunglasses and my wallet and I've got this here with files right there. So if I was sitting there ta at a coffee shop, this is, or at somebody's kitchen table, is, that's a lot of, that's how I've worked a lot in the past. Um, I would be able to, at a, you know, very quickly reach in and grab any references that I need. Now, a lot of my stuff is on the laptop these days. I don't do as much of the actual handouts and I don't work as much and I'm not looking for clients. So, but I still, I still work with some of my past clients and work on a couple of freelance projects where I do meet people out and about. And I do want to be able to have certain forms on hand. I'm old school. I'm very creative. And a lot of the work I've done is with helping people to develop their creativity. So I like manipulat manipulatives where you can actually, you know, get a piece of paper and a marker and write things out and see what you're doing. That is so helpful to me. So I'm really excited about that. Uh, and that's one of the ways I will probably use this. So that's the first item I wanted to share with you. So this next item is, well, let me, all right, I'll show you this one. It's a, it's a drawer organizer sock storage. Now I'm always talking about getting organized. I'm gonna open this up, we're gonna take a look at it. It comes in different colors, by the way. Oh, and the organizer, that is eight and a half by 11. I mean, that, that you can put full size sheets of paper in that file organizer, by the way. That's a big handbag that I had. So let me, or let me open this. I did, uh, I did take out the ru paper rustling, trying to be a little more mindful of that. But I do wanna show you guys, it's a drawer organizer sock storage. And that's the label on it. The expandable uh, file did not really have a label that I could show you, but this does. So I thought I would show you. And it's a drawer organizer sock storage. Make your room pleasing to the eye. Okay. Uh, all right. Anyway, so this is a sock organizer and I do have something I'm currently using, but I thought I'd give this a try because what, what I'm using now are in my sock drawer and my unmentionable. I'm just calling them unmentionables. You will never see me do a bra or underwear haul on my channel, but I just call them unmentionables. I'm a bit old school. So uh, I feel like what I'm using now is fine. It's little drawer organizers and they're the plastic clear and they're long and narrow and I file things sort of all in a row but this actually had its own little compartments and i really like this it'll fit perfectly in my drawer it's made out of a canvas this bottom part do you see how that opens up on the bottom um so if you want to fold it but once you pull it out like this and you open it up you zip that and then that will keep it in place so i am really looking forward to using this to organize my unmentionables and my socks. Now I got, there's two in a pack, so I think this one, let me make sure, but I think it's identical. Yeah, it is, okay. Uh, now this is in a grid, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, a six by four grid, so tw 24, right? Yeah, 24, oh, math! Um, and they're a good size. I mean, my fist goes in there. It's nice and deep. It is, they are open at the bottom. So if I put my hand in there, you know, I can kind of move through the bottom. And so I guess there is a potential that things might get unorganized. But I think if you kept it, you know, in the drawer, I don't think that's gonna happen because it's gonna be flat against the bottom of the drawer. And like I said, it is canvas, 
it feels like a, it's very durable. I think it's good. I'm looking forward to using this. And you can, boy, you could use this for so many other things besides unmentionables and socks, you know? Um, let me know if you guys have any ideas for how you would use these. This next item is a sketch pad. And this is uh, 60 sheets and it's premium sketch pad acid free 5.8 by 3.8 inches. No, 5.8 by 8.3 inches. I'll say that again, 5.8 by 8.3 inches sketch pad. It is a spiral at the top and it's a nice size. Let me open this up. So this, this is the sketch pad. It's a good size. It's not a full size. It's more of like a, you know, it's a smaller, smaller pad. Oh, I do like that each pad, it's, it is a thicker kind of paper. So it's not like Thin notebook paper. This is a thick, nice thick paper, and you, you, I don't know if you guys can see on camera, but the paper's actually perforated at the top here, so you can rip that right out. Now, if you follow my vlog, and I hope that you do, you guys see I write a lot of to-do lists, and I'm always writing things down because I, like I said, I'm old school, and I love to write and draw, and it's just a very creative process. I just think there's something about pen to paper that helps our brain integrate information. Uh, when you're just plugging in information on your phone or your computer all the time, it's so quick, and I just don't think it integrates so much sometimes like it does pen to paper, but I'm old school, and I know not everybody, um, I, that's not based on science, uh, but I just feel like for myself, I do like to, to draw, and I like to write, so, I, and I'm not an artist. I'm not an artist in that. I, I'm not a good sketcher. I have family members that are really good artists. In fact, they'll probably go on to college and do something with their art. And so I try to give them creative things, you know, like this for holidays and things like that. So this is definitely something I would consider. Well, those are my three items today on this Tamu haul, and this is one of three hauls. So I have two more hauls coming up, and uh, they won't be in order necessarily, but I will label them part one, part two, part three, and we will continue looking at what I got in my first Tamu haul. And I want to thank you so much for sticking around and watching my vlog today. And uh, if you've been following me, you know I've been like, I had some vertigo and I'm, st I'm still recovering. I'm doing so much better though. And Roscoe has been just, uh, he's the best medicine. He really is. So yeah, I've been feeling so much better and I will be back doing, I'll probably take you guys along shortly on another weekend sort of day with Dawn because I think we have something fun coming up maybe. So, all right, that's going to be it from me today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're doing well. Take care. I'll see you on the next one. I'm all about the good vibes. I know you're all about the good vibes. Do you know how much I love you? Want to see you smile. Where's the happy girl that I know with the heart?